everyone, Katarina from Bloom and Passion here. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I had to miss a couple of weeks of uh, tutorials, recordings and uploadings because <laughs> life was just crazy busy and I have two small kids and I just could not find the time to record when they were at home. So, uh, so unfortunately had to give it a miss. But I'm back now and I'm back with a fantastic little very easy tutorial. I love wedding crafting, anything wedding related. And today I'm going to make little hangover kit bags. Now these are empty, there's nothing inside them, it's the bag that I'm making. Um, I've been asked to make quite a few of these for a wedding party. Obviously I've changed the name and the date for this one that I'm showing you. But I think these are just fantastic ideas. If you're doing DIY for your wedding and you have lots and lots of these to make, then I will be giving some uh, time saving and budget friendly tips and tricks at the end of the video, so just stay tuned. Okay, so to make this bag, this, these measure 5 by 7 inches and I don't have any tape in it, but you can replace a little wooden peg with double sided tape if you want to seal the bag. I think it looks very cute with the peg though, you can add bows, you can decorate these any other ways. I have a different one in here just to show you. Okay, it's the same size bag, only I made the decoration a bit bigger on this and I added some rose gold champagne glasses and I just added a little thank you note on the bottom as well. I think these look really cute. If you're interested in the um, champagne glasses, these are my own files and I will link to them below in the description box. If you want to, you can go and check them out. Now, uh, so to make these bags, I used the uh, craft roll. Now these are huge. I won't be able to fit this in the uh, in the shot in here. But these are huge, huge rolls, okay, of craft paper, and these are quite heavy weight. You can also get much lighter weight papers. Oops, that just fell. You can get much lighter weight papers. I don't think the bags would be very sturdy from this one, so. I think it's worth just adding that little bit of an extra weight to those bags. Now, to make these, we will need a piece of this craft paper that I've cut down to 10.5 by 8.5 inches, okay? Now, on the 10.5 side, we are going to score at 5 inches and 10, and I'll turn it to the side. On the eight and a half inch side, we are going to score at one inches and eight inches. Okay, that's all for the scoring. Easy. Now I'm going to cut away a few uh, pieces of this. There's this little square in the corner. This can go. Don't need that there. And then from this half an inch tab that goes right to the end, I'm going to remove this bit here, right up to that middle score line. Like so. Now turn it around and on the, on the other side where there's the one inch score line, I'm going to remove this bit at the end and the whole way down to there. So now I'm left with a piece of cardstock or paper that looks like this. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold up these tabs, the half an inch tab on the bottom of the bag and on the side. Just fold them burnish along them score lines. And now what I like to do, I like to bring this bit over to here, match up the corner to corner and match up this corner, this other one, to this score line in here. Apply some pressure with your fingers to that to hold it in place and now burnish this other side. This way I made sure that it's all nice and square on the bottom and on the side as well. From here just take a bit of glue and I'm going to apply the glue on both of these tabs.
and just smooth it all down. Make sure I spread that glue out properly. Just give it a little minute to dry. And that's it. Your bag's ready. Now you can stop there or you can add a decorative edge to these flaps just like I did. I hope the camera picks up. It's like a wavy edge. To do that I used my trimmer. in which I have all different uh, blades, like this one creates a wavy one, but there's all different blades that can be replaced. But if you don't have a trimmer like this, it's no problem because you can use an edge die or you can use a scissors, which I very often do. You can get these decorative edge scissors. Uh, they are quite budget friendly actually. Um, for this ones, but for these ones I went with the trimmer. I just pull it up and it creates that lovely design. It just adds a bit of an extra to these bags, okay? Right from, uh, now it's only down to decorating now. I printed out this piece of note in here. This one measures four inches by five and a quarter. And I'm just going to glue it into the front of it, okay? So the flap will come over to this side. It adds adds to the decoration. Obviously if you want you can add this onto the back of the bag but I just really prefer it on the front in here. Now this paper that I use, this craft paper, is a heavier weight compared to the one that I showed you anyway. But to make this more sturdy I printed my note out on 190 GSM cardstock. You can obviously swap this. A lot of these bags are not going to be kept as a memory. They're gonna be end up in the bin and on the dance floor and whatnot. <laughs> So you really don't have to go nice and sturdy and expensive with this. You can just print this out and uh, copy paper and glue them onto it and it will still look brilliant. And with these ones I was going for that quality look so that's why I printed them out on heavyweight paper and added the heavyweight card uh, and added them onto the heavier weight bags. Okay, now from here, as I said, you can just apply a bit of a double-sided tape in here and seal it once the bags are filled, obviously. Or you can get just some of these wooden bags that I picked up in the works. And you can just hold it in place. And that's it. It's really easy to make. Uh, they are beautiful. They are personalized. They make amazing favors, not only for weddings, but you can use this for birthday parties, dinner parties, anywhere at all. Okay, now, if you're looking to craft for a large wedding, you let's say you are doing your own DIY wedding and you have a lot of guests arriving and you need a lot of these, you might not want to be making all these bags from scratch because it is quite time consuming. Um, once you're doing hundreds and hundreds of these, it will take up quite a lot of time. You can buy these bags ready-made. Okay, I think they are called craft lunch bags or something like that, picnic bags. But the ones that I came across were not this sturdy, okay? They were made more like from this thinner paper, which is, I think, about 70, 60 or 70 GSM. It's very, very flimsy. Uh, while this one is, I think, about 90 or 95 GSM. These are a lot, lot sturdier. So just make sure if you're buying your bags, uh, they will be... Uh, strong enough to hold whatever you're putting in them. There would be nothing more annoying than you putting them out on the table as wedding favor and they start ripping apart or the bottom of it falls out. So just uh, keep that in mind. As I said, you can swap the heavyweight paper for um, copy paper. And also you don't have to use craft paper. You can use any papers at all. Cardstock papers, these are really versatile. Okay, if you're using A4 papers to make these, then you would need to leave the bottom flap only quarter of an inch if you wanted this size, obviously, because this is eight and a half, and the copy papers come in eight and a quarter. Yeah, it's eight and a quarter in width, so just keep that in mind as well. Now, and obviously, these are very easy to adjust in size. Uh, uh, so 
you can make them bigger or smaller as you wish. I also make this type of envelopes a lot of time for cards, okay? The matching papers uh, to the cards, it's just always cute, adds a little bit of a cuteness. Now just keep in mind if you're gonna do that, if you're working with a five by seven inch card, then you will need to make the envelope a little bit bigger because these measure themselves five by seven inches. Okay, just another idea of using these bags now. Also, I think they would look very nice decorated with tags, gift tags. Um, you can match them to your decorations at your wedding or dinner party or birthday party or whatever it may be, with flowers or anything. So I think this is absolutely beautiful. It's very easy crafting. It definitely uh, shows that you went into an effort by personalizing it. You can even add names, guests' names on them. So and fill them with whatever goodies you like. I don't even know what goes in a hangover kit. Painkillers, chewing gums, <laughs> makeup removers, don't know, <laughs> aloe vera, anything really that, you know, helps the next day. A bit of a band-aid for sore heels, yeah. Okay, so thank you for watching my video today. I, I will definitely be back with more crafting. So if you liked my video today, please hit the subscribe button and uh, notification bell so you will get notified when I upload videos. I promise I will try to be a lot more consistent with my videos. It's just it's quite hard to juggle life with two kids and I don't really want to get take too much time away from them either but I will definitely be more consistent with this soon. I promise. <laughs> okay thanks for watching. Bye!